Welcome to the Dreamlands. We are finally back with some Homeworld Remastered. Riding that massive wave of hype in the wake of the Homeworld 3 announcement, I figured it was high time to get back into this awesome game. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that trailer yet, I suggest you crawl out from whatever rock you're living under and check it out. It is very, very awesome. I'm incredibly excited for this. Uh, and I figured what way, what better way to get back into this game than to kick it off with a very, very stacked lineup in a multiplayer match. So we're going to have a 2v2 uh, featuring some very skilled top tier players. We are on the map armed for burial. Uh, and we have got some teams here. Uh, so starting off, yellow team, a player that needs absolutely no introduction. It is cloaked. He has been around forever. He has been a consistently top tier player. He's appeared on the channel before as well. So you should all know him if you are into this game. He is going to be spawning as Vagar. His teammates spawning in as the Tai Dan. For Team Yellow, it is going to be Azrael making their debut on the channel. Uh, from what I understand, though, this player is very, very skilled. So I'm pretty excited about this. Team Yellow cloaked in Azrael. Team Red spawning on the other side of the map. First up, we are going to have Robbie, uh, another very skilled player. He has appeared on the channel before, I believe. Uh, I've played with him quite a number of times. He's very active in the community, pretty solid guy. He is going to be playing as the Hegarin. And his teammate, another player that needs no introduction whatsoever, has appeared on the channel many, many times. He's a very scary guy to go up against. It is going to be Fear, and he has rolled uh, Kushan. So we've got Kushan Hagarin versus Tydan Vagar. Every faction present and protagonist versus antagonist, just to make things even cooler. Uh, what have we got going on on the map so far? Looks like Fear has a couple of probes out on the field. He saturated his main, saturated his first expansion. Uh, looks like the same thing for Robbie as well. Both players with their carrier at their first uh, expansion site. We have a couple of scouts out from Robbie and fear. Wow, they're going heavy on the scouting. Azrael, meanwhile, he has his research ship up. He's, re uh, he's saturated his main and saturated his first expansion as well. Uh, cloaked. Saturated his... Oh, look at this. Interesting. So Cloaked is actually going for like a three base sort of fast expand build. So he's saturated some resources close to the center. He's got a probe coming out and he is saturated his main and his long hauling resources from that amount of resources pretty close by but fear scouts exactly what he is doing everybody knows what's up we do have that probe coming out from cloaked I'm gonna try and get a bead on what's going on on this side of the map this looks like a pretty ginormous map <clears throat> I mean yellow team and red team are pretty far apart is this radiation or what is this stuff here this green shit no radiation is in the the center. I don't know what this green stuff is. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it's just differently colored dust or something. So as we let this game get underway and we let our players start with their initial build orders. Oh, what have we got here? Robbie is long hauling from the center. That's interesting. Uh, he does have a mobile refinery up, so probably going to start moving forward with his carrier. What kind of tech he's going for, who knows? I'll take a look at his mothership here and see if I can spot that momentarily. Looks like Fear is also starting to saturate the center, so all players going for pretty economic builds. There's a... what is that thing? Resource controller up, so the carrier for Fear moving into the center. Looks like Robbie and Fear both want to make a play for the center. All players pretty heavy on the uh, economy right now. Let's see what we can spot on this mothership. I don't really know what all this stuff looks like, if it's visible like it is in DOK. Research module. So Robbie has a research module. That's it by the looks of it. And I know I don't know if you can tell that on uh, Homeworld 1 factions. I don't think you can. Uh, let's take a look at Cloaked. So Cloak's got uh, Corvette tech, his tech to directly to missile Corvettes. He's double pumping them from his carrier as well as his mothership. Cool, what else do we have on the map? No other units so far. Oh dear. 
So it looks like all players on all teams gearing up for a very tech-heavy uh, macro game, which is very, very cool. So while this game gets underway, let's talk about Homeworld 3 for a bit, because that has me so hyped, it is actually unbelievable. Uh, the announcement was just made this past Friday. Gearbox is uh, going to be releasing that game, and it's of course going to be made by BBI, Blackbird Interactive. I'm very, very happy about that, because Deserts of Karak was an incredibly good Homeworld game, and it showed me that guys at BBI know what they're doing with regard to Homeworld. So they're going to be uh, developing it, and Gearbox is going to be producing and distributing it. And if you haven't checked out the trailer, I highly, highly recommend you to do so. I will leave a link in the video description. It is absolutely perfect. It captures that Homeworld feel so, so well. So I'm very excited about that. A bunch of missile corvettes heading out from Cloaked. Naturally, I'm going to keep uh, this cast as cinematic as possible. And once things get pretty heavy, because these are all very skilled players, uh, I certainly won't be able to keep up on all of the action and the nuance of their plays, but I'll try my very best. What have we got for Azrael? A ton of interceptors. Because that thing, that's his research ship. And it looks like we have light corvettes as well. So interceptors and light corvettes for Azrael. Tons of missile corvettes for Cloaked. Uh, and what is this over here? Or, eh? Or, look at that. Double pumping both light corvettes and interceptors from his carrier and from his mothership. Azrael wants to attack. It doesn't look like uh, Robbie or Veer have any units on the field. Let me just make sure I'm not talking out of my ass here. Just interceptors. A, a few, a handful of interceptors and scouts for both players on the red team. But we have pretty giant armies here for Azrael and cloaked so it looks like this game is about to kick off in a big way pretty quickly here i also want to mention that i've opened my own discord server for this channel so if you are a fan of my content if you are a fan of homeworld and if you want to come along and hang out and discuss all things homeworld or anything related to my videos or community then i encourage you to join i will leave a link to that discord in the video description as well you can also join the official Homeworld Discord uh, for all things Homeworld and the official Blackbird Interactive Discord. I will leave both of those links in the video description as well. So lots and lots of action going on in the community right now. The community is very excited. Um, tons of excitement, tons of activity, lots of games going on. So if you are into this game, hop online, get into it, share in the excitement. Pulsar gunships on the field. Nice call from Robbie. He, sc he spotted these uh, missile corvettes. Ooh, so Fear's moving out. Wow, they're actually going to push. Torpedo frigate from Fear backing up his interceptors. And missile corvettes backing up the light corvettes and interceptors of Azrael. Woof, both of these teams now have some pretty nice armies going. What is this? Torpedo frigates, torpedo frigates. It's all torpedo frigates and interceptors from Fear, backed up by Pulsar Corvettes from Robbie. So this is pretty interesting. Neither player wants, or neither team wants to commit to engagement just yet. One bad move at the beginning like this, and you guys are in trouble. Look at this swarm. That is awesome. Both teams were about to engage. They got a read on the opposing team's uh, strength and numbers and composition and decided to back off a little bit. Those Pulsar gunships would absolutely destroy all of these Corvettes. Although missile Corvettes are pretty good against Corvettes as well. So that would be a pretty bloody fight. Torpedo frigates and interceptors on both sides. Got here, assault frigate from Fear as well. Interceptors, torpedo frigates, and assault frigates. Robbie still on Pulsar gunships and gunships. So heavy Corvette tech. Nice spread of their forces watching all approaches and avenues. Laser Corvettes now from Cloaked. Hell yeah, boy. One of my absolute favorite units in the entire game. I just love these things. 
I'm really into like high damage Corvette units. I just love them. They have great speed, great maneuverability. Uh, laser Corvettes and Pulsar gunships are two of my favorite units in this game. What was that? I saw an explosion back there. Looks like we have got the main line forming up for an assault on Robbie's flank, just waiting for these laser corvettes to bolster the lines. Waiting for that first engagement to kick off, we got a gravel generator. So that, I think they spotted the torpedo frigates. They want to prevent any sort of hypertorp bullshit into their um, into their resourcing lines. We do have a hyperspace gate. Interesting. Interesting indeed. So what's... Where's the other one? I think you have to make another one somewhere on the field. Is that how that works? I think it is. Here we go. We got some action kicking off. Torpedo frigates moving in. They are going to get absolutely owned by these laser corvettes. Get some kills on those salvagers. Slow down their opponent's economy just a little bit, but <laughs> look at all these corvettes. Missile corvettes and laser corvettes swarming around those frigates. They go down in no time whatsoever. But I think Fear has spotted the hyperspace gate. He's got a ton of assault frigates now backing up his interceptor swarms. I don't see any more torpedo frigates on the field. No, it's just straight assault frigates. I think Robbie must be going for destroyers or some kind of tech. Scouting more. I rarely see these players be so uh, macro in their games. <clears throat> I'm used to seeing more harassment from players of this caliber, but it looks like we're gearing up for a long macro game, and that is okay by me. That is my favorite thing in the world. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on here. Or Azrael, I saw him in the chat saying he was building destroyers, so he's probably pecking up to that on the back of his interceptors. Is that, are those all still light corvettes? And yeah, they are. Interceptors and light corvettes of ion cannon frigates taking up the rear that's nice we have a push coming another push from fear with assault frigates it's pretty interesting what is going on here oh lordy a shipyard from cloaked nice straight to that high tech on the back of a heavy economy opener we do what's gonna go oh what's happening over here okay cloaked is out of position so he's got all of his Corvettes over here. He came out of the hyperspace gate. He's going to do a backdoor on Fear while well, Fear pushes with his assault Corvettes. Cloaked needs some help. Hopefully, uh, <clears throat> Azrael is going to be able to get over there in time. Oh lord, we already have missile destroyers on the field from Fear as well as support frigates. Is Cloaked going to push this? He's got a read on what's going on. Ion's moving into support to help defend against those assault frigates while Cloaked decides to push it. Look at all the missiles coming out from those missile destroyers. Ugh. Cleaning up some of those laser corvettes. What is Cloaked doing? Is he going to bypass this or is he going to engage the main force? It looks like engage the main force is the order of the day. Laser corvettes focusing on that missile destroyer. Double support frigates going into the uh, heal. Are they going to provide enough healing though before this thing gets taken down? I don't know. We do have another support frigate, three support frigates now, healing that bad boy up. How long is that going to last? No What's problem. going on on the no other problem. side? Where are those assault frigates? Got to keep tabs on both of these combats. Assault frigates moving in to clean up some of Cloaked's resourcing. He's still got double carriers in a shipyard sitting there. Heavy missile frigate just popped. That's going to help slow this down a little bit, but I think his economy is going to suffer a little. 
Salt frigates focusing down those salvagers as quickly as they can. Resource collectors, pardon me. Destroyer just popped for Azrael. Ion cannons coming across the map for support, followed by a destroyer. At the same time, Robbie decides to push. Oh lord, it's about to get really fucking heavy here. Robbie decides to push and flank Azrael while his forces move out to support Cloaked. What happened on this side? Let's take a look. Oh, Cloaked still has a ton of forces. Did they oh, he took out that missile destroyer. Very nice. So we find or did he? Unless that's a new one. Maybe he took that one out and then started focusing down um, these support frigates, or perhaps he just switched to the frigates, and that's the same missile destroyer. I don't know. So missile corvettes and laser corvettes came in, did a little bit of harassment. It looks like they cleaned up all of the support frigates, did some damage onto that missile destroyer, and now they're getting pushed back to the hyperspace gate by some cloaked fighters. Very interesting. Assault frigates, a missile destroyer. Meanwhile, other side of the map, what's going on with those assault frigates? They are deep behind enemy lines, cleaning up cloaks, resourcing as fast as they can. But the ion cannon frigates have arrived from uh, Azrael, and they are going to make short work of these assault frigates, burning them down with those awesome ion beams. going on on the other side. Oof. There we go. Huge swarm of gunships and pulsar gunships coming across the map from Robbie, being intercepted by a giant swarm of interceptors and light corvettes. Big battle going on on basically every part of the map. Cloak's laser corvettes come out. Yeah, it looks like he did. So he made a little backdoor, then did some damage, popped back. Fear did a couple of waves on Cloaked. Nothing uh, significant, though. No significant amount of damage on either side. Both players losing a bit, gaining a bit. Did he send those pulsars? No, those pulsars went... Oh, I see. So he, he sent the gunships into this swarm, and then the pulsars were going to go and support this, but he thought better of it now that Cloaked has retreated through his hyperspace gates back to his own lines. Robbie going to retreat a little bit, or I mean Azrael, pardon me, going to retreat a little bit, bringing his ion cannon frigates back across the map. Look at the size of these armies. Mass interceptors, mass light corvettes backed up by mass ion cannon frigates. A destroyer just popped. Is that his second one? I believe it is. Did he send the other one over there? He did. So double destroyers now backing up these forces. What have we got from anybody else? If there's going to be a... Ooh, look at this. A little dogfight going on. Fear wisely going to retreat those... Interceptors. Neither player wants to fully engage yet. Azrael has a gigantic army, though. Look at that. Robbie's got a destroyer on the field as well, popping off some shots into Azrael's forces from extreme range. They're sending these interceptors in. I don't know if that's a good idea. Jesus, look at this. There is so many interceptors and light corvettes here. He's probably got them on evasive, just trying to hold them at bay. Well, this destroyer does a little bit of damage. A missile destroyer from Fear as well. A flak frigate and a bunch of gunships from Robbie coming in for support. Pulsar gunships hanging back with some torpedo frigates as well. What's going on over here? Fear with the cloaked fighters. Interesting. Very cool play. Coming around with the cloaked fighters. Probably one of my favorite units, actually. I love how these things look. For a little bit of econ harassment on cloaked's back door. Going to start cleaning up. Uh, an alarming number of salvages, actually. Well, fear again. Did he hyperspace gate again over there, or is he just traveling? I think he's just traveling. I don't see any hyperspace gate. That was probably cleaned up by fear with these assault frigates. Attack bombers from fear now as well. God, there's like every unit in the game here right now. A couple of missile corvettes diverted from the main body of the force to clean up these interceptors. Big engagement on the other side of the map. Let's check this out. Oh, so many ion cannon frigates and a destroyer backed up by a swarm of fighters, a second destroyer, and a ton of light corvettes. This is a big battle. Pulsar gunships coming in to engage, as well as fierce interceptors. Some gunships from Robbie holding up the rear. An assault frigate even from Azrael backing this up. Big, big fight here. Make a nice unit to follow through. Oh, 
those pulsars look so cool. The pulsars are jumping on top of the ion cannon frigates, putting out as much damage as possible while all of the fighters engage in dogfighting with the corvettes. What is that? A destroyer? A destroyer? Look at all these destroyers. Three destroyers on the field for Azrael by the looks of it. Backed up by a ton of Ion cannon frigates, which are quickly being cleaned up by Robbie's Pulsar gunships. Heavy missile frigates from Cloaked coming in to support the main fleet. Down goes one of Robbie's destroyers. Looks like Robbie's forces are getting cleaned up. He does have a missile destroyer back here, though. These are awesome units indeed. Pumping out that firepower at extreme range, cleaning up some of those corvettes. What a battle. The second destroyer from Robbie, an Ion cannon frigate as well. Pulsar gunships docking for the repair. Robbie's got a shipyard on the field. He's pumping out more pulsars, more interceptors, and back on the back lines from that carrier. Laser corvettes from Cloaked coming in to try and get on top of that missile destroyer. That doesn't go too well. Oh, but Robbie's forces are getting absolutely swarmed and overran right now. This destroyer is under fire from a ton of ion cannons from those frigates as well as those destroyers of Azrael's. Oh, look at that damage coming out. Azrael and Cloaked pushing hard with destroyers, ion cannon frigates, heavy missile frigates. The swarms of fighters have been thinned extremely. There's a, still a few gunships and pulsar gunships on the field from Robbie holding the tide, but the Pride of Higara, his mothership, is under fire now from focused ion beams from both of these destroyers as well as these ion cannon frigates. Destroyer from Cloak even on the side of the field, backing up his heavy missile frigates. This is just so much firepower. Robbie might go down right now unless something happens. Can he hyperspace out of the way? What a massive push. Oh, meanwhile, assault frigates coming all across the map. Tons and tons of them. We do have a missile destroyer from Fear hanging back with a gigantic wall of frigates, assault frigates as well as ion cannon frigates coming up to support Robbie. Is he going to get here in time though? Can Robbie teleport out? I don't think he can. There's just so much firepower. These Pulsar gunships are doing so good in this fight. Holy smokes. They just keep pumping out damage onto these frigates. They're not doing enough damage quickly enough, though. Oh, Robbie's mothership looks like it has gone down. Very, very strong push from Cloaked and Fear, collapsing onto this side of the map and focusing overwhelming firepower onto Robbie's forces, cleaned most of his army up and then just focused his mothership down. Oh, this is a big battle as well. Fear comes in. Is he too late, though? There is so much firepower here. He has a ton of frigates, though. Look at all these frigates. So many ion cannons backing up this missile destroyer. Some support frigates coming in as well as a destroyer. I hear something about battle cruisers. There's just... No, this is all heavy missile frigates, destroyers, ion cannon frigates, and destroyers. Now missile corvettes coming in from fear, or from cloaked, pardon me, to help clean up some of these pulsar gunships that have been a massive thorn in the team, uh, in the side of Team Yellow. Such a good battle. Fear? Oh, Robbie's got a battle cruiser on the field now. Awesome, awesome stuff. A carrier reinforcing the front lines from Fear. A battle cruiser from Cloaked. Jesus, we are into the end game battle right now. Look at this. Fear's push was actually pretty successful. I don't know, though. There's four destroyers back here and still a pretty big wall of ion cannon frigates and heavy missile frigates. But Fear did a big dent into the combined forces of Azrael and Cloaked. Forcing a little bit of a retreat, stabilizing the front line a little bit. Now we've got Fear's another destroyer from Fear flanking these uh, heavy missile frigates. But, ooh, he is going to come under assault from the Vega battlecruiser. 
huge swarm of missiles going to pop off. Oh god, look at that damage. Is he going to get in range of the Trinity Cannons, I wonder? He sees that bad boy and he's like, nah, I'm out. Oh, one of destroyers goes down from fear. Was that fear? I think so. Battle cruiser from Robbie hits the front lines, backing up a couple of destroyers and a couple of ion cannon frigates. Some support frigates moving in for the front line heals. Still with these pulsar gunships. Look at this. Hey, this is awesome. I love these units. Going in here, putting so much damage on this entire line of capital ships. Now getting into a bit of a skirmish with these missile frigates. Good play by Robbie just with that constant pulsar gunship pressure. There are so many missile corvettes here, though. Looks like we've got the big daddy of the battles happening right in mid here. Battle cruiser versus battle cruiser. So many frigates. Oh god. Look at all those laser corvettes too. Look at all these beams. I gotta focus on this for a minute. What is that electricity around here? Is that a defense field frigate or something? Some shit around here. Maybe it's a... Uh, Oh, is this like a storm, this green stuff? So many ion beams focusing down this battle cruiser. Where, uh, where was Cloak's battle cruiser? Did that go down? Robbie is about to lose his battle cruiser. Focus fire from way too many ions. Oof, down it goes. This is, is this still that same missile destroyer? What an awesome unit this has been all game. Big frigate lines engaging each other in the center. So, uh, there's just too many ion beams here from Azrael, though. Look at all that damage. All those destroyers, all those ion cannon frigates. Spork frigates doing what they can to keep these units in the fight for a bit longer. But there's no way they can push against this. Where is that battle cruiser? Did that get taken down? I think Cloaked lost his battle cruiser. Destroyer, destroyer. Yes, there's so many destroyers here. So many Ion Cannon Frigates, more Pulsar Gunships from Robbie. These heavy missile frigates pushing way too far forward. They are going to get taken down for sure. Surrounded as they are by so many Ion Cannons and Pulsar Gunships. That is going to buy the time Azrael needs to regroup his forces and come back in. Laser Corvettes supporting the heavy missile frigates. Oh, one of them survives, backed up by a ton of destroyers and ion cannon frigates. What can Fear and Robbie do to stem the tide? This is just a ridiculous army right now. I'm kind of bummed out that I missed that battlecruiser going down, though. I love Vega battlecruisers. They still have quite a bit of units, though. Look at this battle. A couple of destroyers, missile destroyers, support frigates, ion cannon frigates, pulsar gunships. Some wings of interceptors even coming in to strafe and screen for the main wall of firepower. Look at all those ion beams. Ugh. Hey, I think that is a defense wave frigate. Let's see some kind of spheres here. It's gotta be depth field frigates. Good. Oh, actually getting some, uh, getting some fire on one of Cloak's destroyers. Oh, look at it take all those ion cannons. Is it gonna go down? I think it is. Too much firepower being focused onto that destroyer. This destroyer is gonna go down. Oh, there it is. Is that the same battle cruiser, or is that a new one? I don't know. Here it is. Cloaked battle cruiser adding tons of missile fire from way back in the back line. Look at this, they're not out of it yet, man. Fear and Robbie fighting tooth and nail for every inch. So much firepower trading blows across the center of the map. Another battle cruiser on the field for Robbie, still the same missile destroyer. I swear to God, this thing is MVP. out pretty hard, but they are not out of it yet. <clears throat> We've got some interceptors from Azrael, dogfighting with attack bombers, and interceptors from Fear. Where are those bombers going? 
We're gonna try and get on top of these frigates, I suspect. Really nice move from Fear, getting those bombers in there. Because there isn't a terrible amount of anti-fighter stuff on the field at the moment. Really nice play. Try and clean up as many of these frigates as they can. Slow them as much as possible. Fear's mothership and carriers on the front line now. Robbie's carriers support them as well, and it's just uh, making it so difficult for them to push forward. Battlecruiser spearheading the charge from Cloaked, though. Need anti-bomber, says Cloaked, and he is absolutely right. Left unchecked, those bombers will just clean up all of these frigates. It looks like they've actually done a pretty good job of that as well. Very few frigates remain on the field. Really, really nice play from uh, from Fear, actually. I didn't know how many of those cleaned up, but the bombers seem to do really, really well. I support frigates on those battle cruisers. Or that battle cruiser putting it, keeping it in the fight for that much longer. Ah, these destroyers though are just unstoppable. Look at them, backed up as they are from this battle cruiser. Battle cruiser is taking pretty sustained focused fire though. Still with the bombers on these frigates, cleaning up more and more frigates. Cloak's battle cruiser is actually eating a ton of damage right now. Azrael has had some incredible micro with his destroyers, I have to admit. These destroyers have just been so, so good. What's going on? Wow. Unbelievable. Look at Red Team. They've actually done a really, really good job of thinning uh, Yellow Team's forces pretty significantly. These destroyers and Battle Cruiser uh, and this other destroyer from Cloaked are pretty much just holding the line at the moment. But Robbie's got two Battle Cruisers. Are they going to turn this around? <clears throat> Pardon me, are they going to turn this around? That is insane if they do. Ugh, such good firepower from these battle cruisers. Oof, so much focus fire on this one. But they are going to take out uh, Cloaked's battle cruiser for sure. Defense field pops to try and slow the damage down, but there is just too much damage from all these on cannons. Cloaked's battle cruiser goes down and one of Robbie's battle cruisers goes down. There's still this one on the field. It starts taking immense focus fire now from heavy missile frigates. Oh, another battle cruiser coming around from the flank. Cloak's battle cruiser adding his firepower onto that single remaining battle cruiser from Robbie. Oh, the Trinity cannons unloading, doing insane amounts of damage. So many ion cannons from those destroyers as well, focusing Robbie's second battle cruiser. Missile barrages letting loose. Oh, there goes that Trinity Cannon again. Man, that thing is deadly. Defense field pops. I'm gonna try and slow down the damage onto this battle cruiser while these two support frigates try and keep it in the fight. But there is just too much firepower here. It's not gonna work. This battle cruiser is gonna go down. My god, what is going on back here? Oh, Pulsar gunships from Robbie swarming one of Cloak's carriers. They're actually going to take it out, I think. Look at these three carriers backed up <laughs> shipyard and a mothership. Got a little bit of lag here going on. I apologize for that. There's just so much stuff going on right now. These Pulsar gunships have been used extremely well, all gained by Robbie. He's got an incredible value out of them. One of the carriers goes down by the looks of it. Yes, it does. The second carrier now coming under assault. Some. Let me take a look at what units are on the field. Some missile corvettes trying to slow these things down, but there's just way too many Pulsars. They are going to pop that support frigate and then move on to clean up the rest of the stuff. Assault craft now being desperately pumped onto the field by Cloaked. That destroyer on the front lines did Cloaked lose his battle cruiser. I think he did. Yeah, he did a while ago, actually. I saw that happen. Okay. There are now five destroyers here. A couple of heavy missile frigates trying desperately. I think Red Team might turn this around. That is absolutely mental. Ion cannon frigates versus destroyers by the looks of it. A couple of support frigates on the front line going to try and 
keep these units in the fight for as long as possible. A missile destroyer. Oh no, that one missile destroyer is it still alive. It is. Don't go down, buddy. Look at these three support frigates on it immediately. Doing some nice healing. This thing is MVP, man. I swear to God. Unreal. Look at Red Team's push. They're actually... I don't know, man. It's still pretty close. Cloaked has taken a bit of a beating. Two of his carriers are retreating. His shipyard... And... Oh, he's got another carrier. So he rebuilt that third carrier. He has a destroyer hanging back here. And just a handful of missile corvettes and assault craft. Heavy corvettes and... Destroyers from Azrael trying to hold the line as much as possible. There are too many assault frigates, too many ion cannon frigates. And this one missile destroyer still on the field, putting out so much damage. That is actually turning the tables and taking the fight to Yellow Team. Oh, look at those missiles. Man, unbelievable game. These Pulsar gunships are on the hunt. Trailing those carriers, they're going to take this one down for sure. There just isn't really anything here that can stop them. Really nice play from Robbie. I was... I honestly thought that Cloaked and Azrael had this in the bag. I really did. Nice move by Cloaked. He actually, like, lives up to his name and cloaks his units. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, now these missile corvettes are absolutely screwed. Those pulsars are just going to absolutely demolish them. Light corvettes and heavy corvettes from Azrael coming into support. These pulsars might get cleaned up if these forces aren't drawn away. Cloaking field wears off. Nice move by keeping those in the fight. Another battle cruiser looks like it is about to hit the field. Unbelievable. I still can't say where this game is going to go. Those destroyers holding the line for Azrael unbelievably well. It's going to divert all of his corvettes. They are going to get in a massive fight with those pulsars, light corvettes, uh, assault craft, and heavy corvettes going to engage these pulsars and try and slow them down before they can kill the rest of these carriers. We do have a support frigate <clears throat> from Fear, way back behind enemy lines. Very strange. Attack bombers from Fear over here still doing more and more damage. Azrael is down to three destroyers. Where is that one destroyer from? A cloak. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's almost dead, though. at Red's forces. That's actually really scary. Robbie has another battle cruiser on the field backed up by a ton of assault frigates, ion cannon frigates, and support frigates. I see a missile destroyer back there. I hope that's the same one because that is like the best unit in this entire game. It has been MVP of the match. is staying alive for forever. Now it is Yellow Team that has to hold, but can they do it? Incredible, incredible comeback for Red Team. Very, very nice macro on the back of their Initial losses. This battle cruiser is toast. I think there is just too much firepower. Look at this. Yeah, down it goes. Something else in the background go over there as well. Oh my god, look at this force from Red. That is absolutely mental. Single destroyer on the field as well as a bunch of assault craft. Looks like most of those pulsars were cleaned up or forced to retreat. Loked has his three carriers on the field. Did his uh, shipyard go down? I think it must have. Surely it went down, yeah, because it was right here before. Look at all of these frigates, good grief. Still on these three destroyers. It's probably just been pumping destroyers as they get destroyed. Uh, new ones hit the field. <clears throat> I 
don't know what yellow can do. Can they can they stay in this game? That was something that just went boom. Watch it be the shipyard that I like didn't see for some reason as I was looking right at it. <laughs> or was that the mothership? Was that cloaked mothership? I think it might have been. Unless he hit a cloaking field or a hyperspace or something like that. I don't know why I'm lagging so much, to tell you the truth. It's only a 2v2. I usually don't lag that much in this game, even during 3v3s. Maybe it's because I'm recording. This one destroyer from Cloaked. I don't know what he can do. Actually, going to go for the kill, I think, right here, right now. They're going to focus Azrael's gunship if they can. Are they going to do that or are they going to try and clean up these destroyers first? That is a big, big army. A second battle cruiser. Yeah, I think Red Team actually is going to take this. Absolutely nuts. Desperation, assault craft trying to clean up these interceptors. Dogfighting over here while the main body. Battle cruisers, destroyers, ion cannon frigates, pulsar gunships. <laughs> Pretty much the entire thing here. Support frigates even. Azrael is toast. Oh, watch how fast this destroyer goes down. Not as fast as I thought, actually. Oh, there's Vagar, or there's the Vagar flagship of Cloak, who it was cloaked, probably. He's still in the game, sort of. Pulsar is being chased by missile corvettes. Again, on the other side of the map, defensive field frigate goes off. These are really cool looking, actually. I rarely get a chance to see these up close. Very neat looking unit. Extremely useful, too. Oh, look at these destroyers still back here. Drawing these forces away from the flagship of Azrael. Defense fields, trying to keep all these frigates in the game as long as possible. What can stop the march of these battle cruisers, though? And look at all of these frigates as well from Fear. So Fear and, and Robbie look like they're splitting up now. Fear is trying to clean up uh, Cloaked, while Robbie tries to clean up Azrael. Here with that missile destroyer, that goddamn missile destroyer. I can't even believe this thing. I think this is the same thing. And even if it isn't, in my head canon it is, because I keep seeing this one missile destroyer that's like immortal and keeps just putting out infinite damage on everything forever. of destroyers from fear backed up by repair corvettes even and pulsar gunships trying to move in and are they focusing on carriers eh interesting this is another missile destroyer over here as well some down the carriers this one's going to go down for sure I don't think there's anything that Azrael can do against this. These frigates are just going to uh, pursue these destroyers while the battlecruisers... Can he, though? Look at this. Two battlecruisers. They're way back, though. There's a couple of frigates here facing off against five destroyers. Azrael still has five destroyers. And he's thinning out these frigates pretty effectively. Unbelievable. What if he survives? Cloaked puts out the GG. He has overran for sure. What a game. This is probably the best game I've had 
uh, the pleasure to cast ever. This was incredibly good. Azrael and Cloaked give out the GG. They just don't have anything that can deal with this stuff. Cloaked is going to scuttle. He is going to surrender. By the looks of it. <clears throat> Azrael as well. Azrael could probably hold out for quite some time. But there is uh, no turning the tide at this point. Very, very well played to all the players in this game. Thank you so much for allowing me the pleasure of casting this game. This was a fantastic one. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike, I guess. And if you enjoy my content, subscribe to the channel for more. Uh, I hope to see you on the Discord. Uh, or any of the Homeworld Discords that I'm going to link in the channel. And I will see you again for the next game.